bank sealed rolled coins, all pennies. All right, I'm gonna search through all five. These are actually 50 cents a piece, what I paid for at the bank. So we'll figure that out at the end, see how much I made. All right, one roll at a time. Here we go. Let's get all these to the side. One at a time. And I will be explaining the different errors I'm looking for, any valuable coins I'm looking for. I will explain everything in this video and it will be posted on the channel. I'm looking for wheat pennies, key dates, errors, everything. Hey everybody, welcome. We're, we are on the bank, bank penny roll hunt. That almost looked like a die crack right there. Two thousand. Check the AM. Uh, it's very corroded. It's hard to see. But a what? If the AM is separated on uh, two thousand, it's like twenty to twenty-five dollars. Whoops. Always check if the FG is missing. Those are designer initials. Here's nineteen ninety. Here's a very nice condition, 1982. Tammy Burris, hello. Welcome, welcome. Everybody hit that thumbs up. We got 400 people watching and only 23 likes. There's a 2021. If you're new in here, welcome. Now everyone, I have no idea what's gonna come up, okay? These are directly from the bank, but I actually on 1994s, Always check for uh, doubling in between the pillars. It's like over $100. Look for doubling in between the pillars. This entire live will be posted on my channel, and there's going to be a lot of good information on pennies in here. I'm going to do five rolls, and these are directly from the bank. So I would love to find some wheat pennies. Oh, that mint mark looks a little bolder than normal. I'm going to put that aside. That needs to go to, under a microscope. And actually, um, one of my followers, one of my followers was doing uh, roll hunting, penny roll uh, hunting, and he found a close AM 1992. He sold it for $1,200 on, um, on eBay. I made a video about it. So check that out. I'm, it sold for over $1,200, everyone. So it would be very nice to find that. On these 2021, look for any look for any cracks in the letters. I sold one for nineteen dollars. Uh, with a large crack on the on the W, and the Lincoln's head. What's up, everybody? Hit that thumbs up. We're doing, pen this is penny rolls from the bank. Anything can happen. Somebody said, why don't you keep the copper? You can stack copper. You can if you want to. I just haven't, I don't usually do that. Ooh. Oh, everyone, I just found a die chip. Just found a die chip, everybody. You see that right there? On the end of cent, can everyone see that? 
This is like a dollar fifty to two bucks because that little die chip right there, that should not be there. That is not damaged. Do you all see that? That just turned a penny that I got for one cent into, into like a dollar fifty to two bucks. Right there. Doesn't sound like much money, but if you do the math on a penny, that's a big difference. There's a die chip. First, that's the first error I found so far. All right. I paid. So that just paid off three of my rolls. That lit. That literally just paid off three of my rolls. Oh, here's a 1992. Everyone listen to this. This is very important. For 1992, if that AM is touching, like, look at the picture. Look at the thumbnail on this video. That, if that AM is touching, it's a lot of money. It's hundreds of dollars. And if it has a D-mint mark and the AM is touching, it's over $1,000. All right? Look at the thumbnail on this video, the picture. And that's uh, where the wide AM and close AM should look like. And everyone watching, if you joined late, don't worry. I will show whatever I find at the end of this video. Oh, that, that is called damage, everybody. <laughs> that is very, very damaged. Someone said parking lot penny. Yeah, pretty much. Probably got ran over about 50 times. There's a 66. Always check if the FG is there. If the FG is missing, that's, that's worth some money. Somebody said, are these used pennies or brand new? Well, they're from the bank, so it could be anything. Are they used pennies? There's a 2,000, pretty damaged, but yeah. That damage is going to be hard to tell if there's an error anyway. 2017. 2019. There's a 1979. Really nice condition, 1979. A 2022, that's completely damaged. 1986. We're doing five. Oh. We're doing five rolls today, everyone. And we are. All right. Here's a 1998, and very. I see. That is how a close AM should look, on a 92. This is not what you want on a 98. On a 98, you want a wide AM, which again is. A, you can see a picture on the thumbnail of this video. Hey, fat boy. How you doing? We're not wasting no time in this video. We've already found an error. We already found an error, everybody. And there's a lot of... There's all... Oh! There's another die chip. Right. Uh, I'm pretty sure I saw it. This one's, uh, this one's a little bit smaller. No, no, no. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to keep this one. It is almost right there in the corner. This one's a lot larger. This one I found is a lot larger. There's a little bit of a die chip right there in the corner. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. That, that's going to be a little bit less valuable. A little bit less valuable than the first one. I'm going to keep it. Still an error. Probably sell for like 75 cents. Oh, damage. And everyone, the damage pennies, I'm not even going to waste time on. All right. First roll down. Let's go to the next one. First roll down, we found two errors. I, I only ha paid 50 cents a roll for these, so. Which I didn't really pay anything because when I'm done, I'll just return them. 
can't get this open. I should have brought something to open this with. There we go. Yep. 1994. Check for doubling in the pillars. Ninety two, here we go. Nope, that's a space. Why DM ninety two is hundreds of dollars. Definitely something we're looking for. Damaged. In these 2022s, look for die cracks in the letters, everybody. Look for die cracks in the letters. One is called a spiked head Lincoln, which I have found many in other roles. I still have some in my collection, actually. And everybody in here, hit that thumbs up. We got 450 people watching, and we'll, we only have 190 likes. Everybody hit that thumbs up for me. Let's skyrocket this over 200 likes. There's a lot of useful information in this video, so hit that like button for me. Hit the thumbs up. Aloha from Hawaii. We got Hawaii in here watching. That's mainly what I'm looking for on the 2022s, everybody, is die cracks in the letters which I have found many. I've sold one for $19. Fiona, thank you for hitting that thumbs up. I appreciate you. Actually, everyone watching, put your state in the chat. Everyone who's watching right now, put what state you're in in the chat. I live in Maryland. Let's see what states are watching right now. I know we're, people from all over the world are joining this live right now. There's Michigan, Connecticut, New Jersey, New York, Washington State, Florida, New York, Texas, Maine, Ontario, Canada, California, Mississippi, Ohio, Delaware, Florida, Arizona. I mean... Minnesota, there's Hawaii, Missouri, North Carolina. My God, we literally have people from all over the world watching this right now. Arkansas, Pennsylvania, Cali, New Jersey, Texas. Very, very cool, everyone. <coughs> Excuse me, hold on. I'm checking the AM on a 2,000 penny. If the AM is separated, it's like 20 bucks. Yeah, thank you everyone for, for putting your state in the chat. That's very cool. Very, 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 very cool.
All right, here's 2,000 again. Check the AM. See how close that is? It's not what you want for a 2,000. We want a separation. But it's possible on any coin. And I will, I will show you the errors I found at the end already. There's a very damaged 2006. There's an 82. FG's there. Someone said Baltimore, Maryland. Oh, that's about 45 minutes from me. Twenty twenty two, look for the die cracks in the letters. Nope. Nope. Hmm. It almost looks like a strike through, but I don't think it is. A little bit of rainbow toning on there. Y'all see that? Got some a little bit of some toning on that coin right there. It's pretty cool. And that that looks like that looks like someone did that actually. That does not look natural to me. Oh yeah, Toodles, uh, congratulations on ordering that. Let me know what you find. All right, two rolls down, everybody. Two rolls down. We're still off to a good start. We've already found two errors. Next roll. We got three more. I have actually found wheat pennies before in bank rolls, so that's that is definitely possible. Interesting strike around the rim. No, not much. All right, here's a 92 in really nice condition. Please be a close AM. Nope, there's a space. See that space right there, everybody? If that space was not there in the A and the M, it would be hundreds of dollars. Hundreds. And yes, for 1984, check for doubling in the ear. Every 84 I come across, I am checking for that. You should be too. Uh, next 84 I get, I'll, I'll give you a, more of a close-up of what to look for. I will probably come across another... Sam says 1988 with a white aim is worth five dollars plus. No, it's worth more than that. Even the red book has it at twenty, but they sell in higher grades. They sell for actually the like eighty to hundred dollars online and ungraded, at least twenty bucks, fifteen to twenty five somewhere in that range. Five bucks? No, that's not true, unless it's like completely just horrible condition. But. Let's do this, everybody. Hit that thumbs up. We got over 300 likes in here. At any moment, we can find another error. At any moment, we can find a key date. 
At any moment, we can find a wheat penny. Here's a 2,000 check for the wide AM. Oh, well, no, that's definitely a close AM. Hamburger says, you're my top three favorite YouTubers. Oh, I appreciate that. I try my best. Carlos says, Wheaton, Maryland? Oh, man, you're like a neighbor to me. Probably one of my neighbors. And everyone who joined late, don't worry. At the end of this video, I will show you the errors I found. I've already found two. But we're just, we still have half a roll. Oops. We still have half a roll and then two more. There's an 83. Actually, we should actually weigh these. Hold on. Let's weigh this, everyone. For 83s, weigh them. So, when you have an 83, weigh it. If it weighs 3.1 grams, it could be a copper worth thousands of dollars. Okay, so that does that weighs correctly. correctly. But if it weighs 3.1 grams, that could be worth money. So, always weigh your 1983s. Always weigh your 1983s. Uh, a major transitional error is possible on those worth thousands. 2.5 is normal, which is what I just showed you. Austin, thank you for the uh, for the super thanks. I appreciate you. Thank you, Austin. Very nice of you. Here's another 83. Nope, I just weighed it. That's 2.5. All right, everyone, for an 84, check for a doubled earlobe. A doubled earlobe on an 84 is a lot of money. I mean, they're like 100, 200 bucks. Check for a doubled earlobe. This one does not have it, but I'll check your 84s for that. And everybody watching this, this whole video is going to be posted on my channel so you can rewatch this. I've already d discussed and told you about like 10, probably five to 10 different errors and different varieties to look for. So make, make sure you watch that. And everybody in here, hit that thumbs up for me. Hit that like button. That's all I ask. I will, I will tell you everything I know, Just but just support the channel by hitting that thumbs up, share it very important. I will tell you everything I, I know, everything I learn. There's 84. Check for the double ear lobe. Nope. I thought that was a die crack. I thought it was a die crack. It's not. That's damage. Dojo, thank you for the super thanks. I appreciate you. Very, very nice of you. All right, here's a 1999. It's got some damage on it. But you would, you would want a wide AM. A wide AM 1999 is between $100 and $500. For 19, 9, 1999 is the, the most valuable wide AM you can find. So that's something you should definitely remember.
No, don't clean your coins. Somebody's asking about cleaning coins. Don't do it. Leave them how they are. Just don't clean your coins at all. No, a magnet will not attract silver. It will attract steel. It will attract steel. All right, everybody, we got two more rolls. Everyone hit that thumbs up. We're down to the last two rolls here. So that means we need some, we need some good luck. We've already found a little over $2 worth of errors, which pretty much paid off the rolls. Oh, here's a 92. Check for the close AM. Hold on here. Nope, there's a space. There's a space. You got to check for that. Nice condition, 1979. Not really worth keeping, though. 87 damaged. Rusty, thank you for the uh, super thanks. Says, what was the most valuable find you ever had? I I have found a 1922 um, no mint mark wheat penny before. That's $1,200. I still have it. And I already graded it. Well, look at that, everyone. Hold on, let me check the back. Everyone, look what I just found. So this actually looks like... It looks like I have a bit of a lamination error right here going across this coin. I mean, this is either a large die chip... This right here, that's either a large die chip, a, a bit of a lamination error. This is actually a really good find. It's not a strike through. This could also, this could be a couple different things. It, yeah. So yeah, this is definitely an error. This is probably a couple dollars. Um, could be a cut error. For now, that's not supposed to be. That's not supposed to be there. Be there. That's not supposed to be. So that 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 could be a couple of different things. That's not supposed to be. So that 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 could be a couple of different things, um, but. Either way, that's a good find. I'm going to put that aside. This is probably a couple bucks. Look under the scope. I don't have the scope set up. Yeah, but, all right, I'll put that aside. That's definitely an error. That's probably the best find so far, actually. Because the other ones I found were, sm were, were smaller errors. But that was cool. This is very corroded. I can't even tell what that is.
Uh, fix, fix, flicks. It says audio is not working. Everyone, if your audio is not working, just close it, reopen it. It should, on mine, it should be fine. Yeah, fix, flicks. You don't need to keep spamming that. Just close yours and reopen it. It's got to be on your end. Yeah, I wasn't talking a second ago, everybody. I was just... <laughs> everybody said the volume wasn't working. I wasn't talking. And then actually the song was... Um, the song was a quiet part. Oh, yeah, there you go, Cynthia. Yeah, the Red Book is good. The Red Book's pretty good for um, at least a small guide. Yeah, everyone, just reboot if, um, if your sound is out. Because for most people, it's working. Here's a really nice 2000. Let's check for a wide AM. No, let's close down. Here's another 2000, check for the wide AM. Everybody, look. Look at this 96. I want you to look at this and look at the error I found. You see the difference in the shoulder or, or, or in the back? You see that buildup right there? That's an error. This is the same year coin. This one does not have it. This one does. You see the difference? So this is either like a cut error or a lamp. It's probably a lamination error a little bit right here on, on the one I found. That's the difference. This is, look, 1996, 1996. This is the error I found earlier. And this is in a bankroll, so that's, you know, free money. Yeah, there's, there's the big difference. Uh, someone keeps asking me, are wheat pennies valuable? Yes, they can be. Yes, they can be, but that's a very, very, very general question. There's many key dates for wheat pennies and many errors on wheat, wheat pennies to look for. But that's way too general of a question. Someone said I don't see it. Well, uh, you can when, this video is going to be posted on my channel. You can go back and check it out and pause it. You'll you'll see a very you'll see a very large difference if you look close. Look at the 15. That almost looks like a die crack too. On the 15, it looks like a little strike through. So everyone, I think we just found a little, a, a small strike through on this uh, 2015 penny. Someone says scratch. Could be, but it's in a weird spot. Right there above the 15. I'm going to put that aside. That, I'm going to put that under a microscope. 
The rest of the coin's in really nice condition, too. Yeah, could be a little small strike through. A good way to sell error coins, you can sell them on eBay or any online marketplace. I see someone saying that in capital letters in the chat. Yeah. Yes, I will do an update on the microscope um, if, it's, um, if it's a legit find. I'll just post a video. All right, one more roll, everyone. This is it. So everyone who's watching, everyone hit that thumbs up. Last roll. Last roll, everyone. This entire video will be posted on my channel. There's, there's so much info in this video. I would recommend going back through and you can listen to it. Write a couple things down if you want. Last roll. Let me zoom this out just a little bit. There we go. Everyone hit that thumbs up. Sometimes on that, on that list, uh, last roll, we get some pretty good luck. And at the end, I'll show you the uh, errors I found. Somebody said, will we get a percentage if you find a million dollar penny? Everyone, if I find a million dollar penny, I'll do the lar one of the largest giveaways you've ever seen. If I find a million dollar penny, I will do a very large giveaway. Let's see here. FG's there. 62 Denver. Last roll, everybody. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that like. Ooh. I thought there was a bit of a grease error right there, but probably just wear. Everyone, so there is some damage on this side, but this looks way different than the rest of the coin. That could be There is a little bit of damage around the coin, but that looks, this is much deeper than the rest of the coin. That could be a pretty large strike through. Man, I think this is a strike through. This is like $30. I'm pretty sure that's a strike through. And there, see that there, that's damage. That's damage. That looks way different. Well, that's the best find. That's a really, really good find, everyone. All right, that's the best find so far. That's going in a case. That well, that made see, and this was on the last roll. 
That's funny. That is funny. Yeah, a strike through the, is, is, is what happens during, can happen during minting. Uh, that was a really good find, y'all. I mean, that was a very large error. That, that I mean, that was wild. I only paid 50 cents for the rolls. <laughs> You can go to the bank and do this, too. Whoa. Look at this. Everyone, look at this 1982 toner. Look at that. That is a very toned coin. Yeah, it punches the design through the other side. That's cool. I'm, oh, I put that one aside. I, I like toned coins. All right. Well, it's already been it's already been a really good ending, but that, that sounds funny. Um, but let's see if we can finish this live strong. Eighty four check for the double ear. No. Two. Last couple coins, everybody. Here we go. I'm going to go through the errors at everything I found at the end. We did really well. I mean, we started this with $2.50 worth of pennies that I got for 50 cents each at the bank that I can just return when I'm done. And we, pro I mean, for what we found, we did really freaking well. Better than I expected, to be honest. And everyone, if you're, there's a couple people having audio issues. This entire video will be posted on my channel and you'll be able to hear everything, okay? So you can rewatch the whole thing we posted. You can, you can save all the info. There's a ton of information in this video just about pennies. Oh, there's 2,000. Check the AM. Nope. Here's a 2,000. Check the AM. Ninety-eight. Check the AM. Close. Twenty-eleven. Damage. And then finally, just a twenty-eighteen. Never. All right, everyone. Let's go through all the finds. I found this pretty cool toner, nineteen eighty-two. I found this twenty-fifteen. It looks like a little bit of a strike through right there. Which, look, the rest of the coin's in really good condition. It looks like a little strike through right on the 2015. That'd be at least probably $1.50 to 2 bucks, Maybe 2 bucks. I um, I found this 1996 with a bit of a buildup right there. That could looks like a little bit of a lamination error or a very large die chip. But it's probably, it looks like more of a lamination error. This is probably 3 or 4 bucks. That's pretty cool. I found this one with a small die chip right there. That's, that one's much smaller, probably like 50 cents. This one has a much larger die chip that you can obviously see. That one right there, you can see very, very obviously. This one's probably over a dollar, two bucks. 
And then here's the best find of them all. Major strike through right there, everyone. Major strike through on the coin. This is probably over 20 bucks. This is a really big find. But everyone, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Make sure you like and sub to the channel. Um, I'm going to post this onto the channel so you can rewatch and listen to the, all, all the information. And for anyone who joined late, you can watch the whole thing and enjoy it. Everyone, I appreciate you enjoy, uh, I appreciate you watching, and I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Have a great rest of your day. Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching. The whole thing will be posted on the channel. Okay? Bye, y'all.